local San Francisco drag queen, Elsa Touche. I'm here with my new friend, Liam. How are you, Liam? Good. And how old are you, darling? I am 11. 11 years old. I turned 11 old. on September 24th. Oh, well, happy birthday, a little bit after your birthday. Did you have a party? Did you have people yeah, over I in your yard? Yeah, I actually had two different parties so that I could have one with my family, which is my grandma and my grandpa and my cousin and their parents. Nice. And then I had a different one with my friend from school. Oh, nice. Wow, two parties. I, I didn't get any parties this year for my birthday, but am I jealous of an 11-year-old? No. No, not a little bit. Um, so you have met, you've been meeting some drag queens today. Have you ever met drag queens before today? Uh, yes, I've met one other drag queen. Who? Roxy. Roxy Cotton Candy? Um, I think, yeah. Yeah, very tall? Yeah. I love Roxy. Roxy's a friend of mine. Well, um, I'm a step down, honestly. <laughs> but it's so nice to meet you. We are going to talk about current events. Are you up on current events, do you think, Liam? Yeah. All right. So you're aware there's a presidential election going on, aren't you? Yeah, it's kind of hard in to fact, miss. In fact, there's actually a presidential election in my fifth grade class. Oh, the where we're where we're doing a fifth grade government. So we have four senators, two from each fifth grade class, and we have three judges and then one president. How interesting. Are you are you involved in that? Are you running? Uh, I'm running for judge, but the president picks the judge. You're running for judge, so you have to try to impress the president. And you, you have, has the president been chosen yet? Uh, no, the president is... We're actually doing it on November 3rd, just like the, the real... Oh, election. how fun! Do you have a favorite? Do you know who you're voting for? Uh... No, I'm not sure exactly. I'm probably going to vote for one of my friends. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of how that goes in school. Well, not... that. That's not it. I'm doing it for myself, <laughs> not for them. I see. Wow, you're good at politics, Liam. You're really excellent at politics. Hello, I'm Pippi Lovestocking, and this is Zavi, age eight. He's gonna have a little conversation with me today. We're gonna to get to know each other. So, Zavi, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? What is your favorite cartoon character? Daffy Duck. Really? What do you like about him? Can you imitate him? He's stupid? <laughs> and he always fails. Oh, so maybe you could learn a lesson and you don't want to make the same mistake Staffy does. Hello, my name is Sham Ibrahim and I am here with a fabulous guest, Miss Coco. Hello. How are you, Coco? I'm doing good. So how old are you, Coco? Uh, I'm nine years old. Nine years old. Okay, well, I'm about 10 times that age, so we've <laughs> got a little bit of difference between us. Uh, you know, Coco, I've got some questions for you. Yes? Is it okay to ask you a couple questions? First, I need to ask you a question. You want to ask me a question? Go for it. I'm an open book, whatever you like to know. Well, it's more of a joke. A joke? Okay. What do you call a zombie at your front door? A zombie at my front door. I call the police when that happens. What should I call it? A dead ringer. A dead ringer. Uh, I heard you were 48 years old. No, seven. You're seven years old. What a marvelous age. Do you know how old you have to be to be president of the United States? No. 35. Can you imagine? 35 years old. Do you think that um, grown-ups are doing a good job of running the country? Um, some are. Some are. Any names? Uh, no. No? Okay. Do you think that kids in general would do better or worse than grown-ups in general are doing right now? I don't know. You don't know? What about you? If you were president, what do you think um, you would like to do? What would you change first? Um, I would change the segregation. You would end that. Good. There's a lot of problems that, have, uh, that we have because of the effects of long-term segregation. It's really bad. Have you been to any of the um, uh, protests against racial injustice? One. You have? One? That's wonderful. It's a big planet we live in. There's all kinds of continents and things. Have you ever thought about where you would like to visit the most? And if you can go anywhere in the world, 
the North Pole, or Australia. Where the blue penguins live, which they exist. I think it's, yeah, they the blue penguins. Yeah. I blue I don't know. I think they might Australia. be. They live in Australia. Yep, blue penguins live in Australia. It's kind of warm in Australia, isn't it? Or I mean, yeah, it is. But yeah, because penguins most penguins I think live in the snow and yeah, ice. Yeah, the blue ones don't. The blue ones uh, like hot weather, huh? Do you think that? Do you know, okay now, do you know where San Francisco is, like in terms of the world? Like what country is it in? I don't know. You don't know? Well, Billy, I'm gonna teach you today that you live in a country called America. Can you say America? America. America. And you know what America is? No. It's a great place. It's really great over here. You know why? Why? Because in America, we have freedom. Okay, you know what freedom is? Kind of. You know what it is, like maybe a little bit? You tell me, what's freedom? When you're in a place that's free. Well, that's, that's one way of describing it, yes. You know, I'm a drag queen. Have you ever met a drag queen before? No. No? Are you happy to have met one today? No. Yeah, I'm fishing, but I appreciate that. Thank you, Cheyenne. Can you tell me what your favorite cartoon character is? Um, I like Garfield. Oh, uh, okay, he's the big chubby cat. Yeah, who loves lasagna. Yeah, do you have a cat at home too? Or? No. Okay. Do you like coloring books or are you too big for that? I don't really like them. Yeah. I mostly like to go outside. Oh, do you play sports and play yeah. ball and stuff like that? What's your favorite sport? Uh, I like soccer, football, and baseball. Oh, wow. Those are good sports. That keeps you in good shape. I asked you, what are we going to do about Donald Trump? What's your solution? Mm, stick an F-bomb in his head? Well, it's a bomb. I hold it with an F-bomb, so I'm sticking it in his head and it's going to explode. Eh? Calm down, Bin Laden, okay? That's not a solution to anything, to stick bombs on things, okay? What? We've got We've got to do... The, the, the peaceful solution, okay? Peaceful. Peaceful. Do you know what that... Do you know what peaceful means? Yes, I do, and I don't want to do that way. I, I want to do it the, the non-peaceful way. Well, Zobby, you're not alone. A lot of us would like to do it the non-peaceful way, but... Just stick it in his head. Well, Zobby, what we need to do is vote. We need to vote him out of office. No bombs. No sticking anything in his ugly head. We yeah, you can stick something in his ugly head, actually. Hopefully we can stick some better ideas in his head, because he's got some terrible ideas. Good so, idea. Right? That's a good idea, right? Do you know what your favorite color is? Mm -hmm. What What is it? Purple. Purple? I like purple. Purple and green? Mm -hmm. They look good together. And, and what? And blue. Purple, green, and blue. Yeah, they look good together. So we were gonna talk about the current um, presidential election. Have you been hearing talk about the presidential election at home? No. No one's been talking about it at home? Can I come live with you? Because frankly, I'm just tired of hearing about it. No. I can't come live with you. Fair, fair Cheyenne, fair. So besides the fun and the food, what do you think makes San Francisco so great? People. That's the answer I was looking for. I agree. What makes San Francisco so great is that you see every kind of person here. There's all kinds of different people, right? I mean, look at me, right? I mean, look at you. We're individuals. You know what an individual is? Not exactly. You try to tell me in your own words. Like, I think an individual is like a person. You hit the nail on the head, Isabel. You're smarter than me. I couldn't have described it better than that. You did a better job describing it than I could. And then I've been asking the other kids, because, you know, it's the world we live in. <clears throat> do you know much about our president, our current president, Donald Trump? What do you think of him? Would you like to? I don't think he's very great. And uh -huh. I think he's doing a terrible job with COVID. Yes, I would have to agree with that. Hi, Coco. Hi. How old are you, Coco, honey? I am nine years old. 
style. Wow, well I love what you're wearing. I love your dress. Oh, I like the jewelry you're wearing. Thank you. Well, how about I can borrow that dress sometime and maybe sometime you can borrow my jewelry. I think my rings might be too big for your little hands though. I think my dress might be too small for you. <laughs> how dare you, Coco. I'm a perfect <laughs> size 14, so everything's fine. You know a lot of things. You're very smart. You're very intelligent. And I really, really think you have a bright future ahead of you. What do you want to be when you grow up? A doctor. A doctor? Oh, how wonderful. I would definitely let you treat me for, for my illnesses if I wasn't well. I would come and see you, okay? Okay, would you, would you let me be your patient? Okay. Okay, Billy. Now, Billy, I'm just wondering, how old are you again? You said you're, you're almost four? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, can you guess how old I am? No. Guess. Fifteen. Say that again. Fifteen. Fifteen. Billy? Mm -hmm. You're very kind. Thank you. I, I appreciate that, but guess again. Let's go higher. 14. But uh, what do you think of Donald Trump? Would you like to talk about him for a minute? Um, actually, I, re I kind of don't really like him because in the debate, um, he said that, that the other president would ruin the world, but he's actually the one ruining the world. Hi, Maddie. How old are you, honey? I'm six. You're six years old? Wow, that's impressive. You look gorgeous today. Thank you. I love what you're wearing. I love that dress. Did you pick that out this morning? Mm -hmm. Good job. It goes great with your sparkly shoes. I just love it. Thank you. You're welcome. Sometimes when someone gives you a compliment, you return it with another compliment of your own. But that's all right, darling. It's OK. I know I look pretty, too. Do you think I look pretty? Thank you. So I'm a drag queen. Have you ever met a drag queen before, honey? No. I'm the first one. Mm -hmm. Do you know what a drag queen is? No. Looking at me and knowing that I'm a drag queen, what do you think a drag queen is? Exactly right. I am a kind of queen, a very specific kind. Well, I am very honored, Mandy, to be the first drag queen that you've ever met. You'll remember this day forever, or maybe you won't. I don't know. I don't know, darling. Um, so I have some questions about current events, so things that are in the news right now. Do you want to answer some questions about things in the news? Do you know who the current president is of the United States? It is. It is Donald Trump. Um, do you think that uh, Donald Trump is doing a good job as president or a bad job as president? A bad job. A bad job? Why do you think so? Um, because my parents say he's not um, really, really nice to people. Your parents sound very intelligent and perceptive. I can tell that you take after them, Maddie, darling. Um, what do you think the president does all day at work? What is the president's job? I don't know. It's mysterious to a lot of us, isn't it? If you were president, Maddie, and I think that sounds like a very good idea, if you were president, what would you do? What would you like to change in our country? That everyone gets treated the same. That's a very good idea. I like that. I shall write that down. Treat everyone the same. Um, that's a good idea. So grown-ups right now, we're not doing a very good job of running our country. Do you think that we should put kids in charge of running the country? Um, I think kids need to learn a little more before 
before they do that? Just a little more? Maybe. So do you know how old you have to be to be president? Hmm. I think 20 or 30. You're close. Yeah, you're close. Um, do you know how old our current president is? Mm -hmm. What would you guess? He's really old. How old? Do you remember how old I sometimes tell you I am, but I'm not really? A hundred? A hundred? Oh, a hundred. Well, I'm not going to ask you to guess my age, Maddie. That's for sure. Well, that was very interesting. So I have a question for you now. Now that you've met your first drag queen and it was a marvelous experience, do you have any questions for me? No? All, 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 it's all on the surface. I have no mystery at all. That's good. That's good. Well, it was very, very nice to meet you, Maddie, darling. It was very, very nice meeting you. Thank you. What an adorable child. I'm taking this one. Okay. It's all right. I get to keep one of them, right? <laughs> Can you say the word fabulous? Fabulous. Say it again. Fabulous. Oh, Billy. Wow, you're doing wonderful. Tell me some other, let, 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 me, let me teach you some other vocabulary, okay? Do you like to learn new words? Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you heard the word fierce? No. Let me hear you say that. Fierce. One more time. Fierce. Say fierce and go like this. Fierce. And this? Fierce. Okay, there you go. Okay, Billy, okay. You're fierce and you're fabulous. Did you know that? You are. Those are wonderful things. They're wonderful things. And you're gorgeous. Let me see your dress. Can I see it? Do you, do you want to do a modeling? Is it hard to get down from the chair? Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Be careful. Okay. Let's see. Turn around. Give us a spin. Wow, Billy. That's a beautiful dress. I love it. Thanks. I love it. And I love your hair. Well, Billy, it has been an honor speaking to you today. Did you enjoy this conversation? Mm -hmm. You did? Okay. And are you gonna run for president? Oh, thank the Lord. I'm so happy. And, you're, and what's your first priority gonna be? Keeping everybody safe. Well, you know, Halloween is coming up. Have you given it any thought about a costume or? Halloween is canceled. It's canceled? Yeah, it's well, on a while. Well, we can still do stuff at home and dress well, up. Well, I already have a costume. Star Wars one, Boba Fett. Oh, you love Star Wars. Boba Fett, is he the, was he the guy who went and caught Han Solo or? Yeah, the one in the carbonite. Oh, so he's a, a bounty one, hunter, I yeah, think. Yeah, he's a bounty hunter. Oh. He's the one who got eaten by a Sarlacc in the movie. Oh, that's the desert big thing. It's buried yeah, and that. he fell in his mouth and he, yeah, oh, okay, he, yeah. But that's you a terrible know way that to die. He's actually dead. He just doesn't have his. He's being digested now, huh, yeah. He doesn't have his... No, he's not. It doesn't have a butt. Um, do you think a drag queen would make a good president? Hmm. I don't see why not. You don't see why not? Why? What would make a drag queen be a good president, darling? Well, it would probably depend on their personality and, like, how they act and how they care about people. Like, for instance, I think you would make a great president because... Right now, you are really kind and caring, and you are just beautiful also. Darling, when you're right, you're right. How perspective. Thank you for that honest feedback. It helps me improve. So it's all the people that make San Francisco so great, and it's those people that make the world great, right? Yeah. Okay. And San Francisco is part of America, right? Yeah. Okay. What do you think of America? It's, it's okay. It's just that, it, you know, it, it's okay, but... It's just not so good when it's, you know, the president and he's kind of mean. And he's just not, he's not being fair. He doesn't pay his bills and he's not being nice to people. He's just treating them wrong and he's not helping our city be better. And he doesn't, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't eat healthy and 
He doesn't like. He doesn't really care about anybody except for himself. Isabel, you are very observant. Do you know what that means? Smart. I watch the news a lot. You watch the news. Hell, honey, when I was your age, I watched cartoons. So I'm glad that you're watching the news. I watch cartoons and watch the news. I was only cartoons, so it's good that you're, you're, you're educating yourself. So I was going to ask you, but it sounds like you already know about who Donald Trump is, right? Yeah. Okay. And what do you think of him? A bad person. I know he has good, ins good inside him, but he just... He just doesn't want to use it. I, don't, I just don't know why. He just doesn't like other people, and you should treat them fairly. Because then, if you treat if you treated people fairly, then people would treat him fairly, and you wouldn't have to just do all these bad things that are wrong. So you said you think he has good inside him? Yeah, but he just he just doesn't use it because he doesn't. He just he just inside him, but on the outside, he's just a mean person. But. He just doesn't like to use it, I guess, and he, he doesn't know that he has it inside him and he doesn't want to try. Isabel, honey, I think we'd have to look so deep inside that man. I don't know how deep, I don't think the human body goes that deep to find that goodness. But you seem very intelligent and observant, as I said. So you must see something that maybe I don't see. How can, how, how can we get that good out of him, you think? Probably by telling him things that, like things that he's done wrong and you should realize that aren't good. And we should talk to him about like doing the right things, like being nice, treating people fairly. But not everything is fair in life, but if you, if you want people to like you and also be your friends, then you don't have to just be mean and try to get away to be your friends. Just be nice to them and, and then they might want to be your friends. Isabel, if only the world was as kind as you. You know what I mean? The world is unfortunately not so kind because we've tried. We've tried to tell this man all these things. We've tried. And look, at he's still acting like, as my friend Coco said, a stupid butthead. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Don't you think? How would you describe him at how he acts? Well, he talks really loud and he doesn't believe in things like he just yells and he goes like this and he just interrupts people over when they're talking and he's just like lies about things when he talks and he's just like, we'll make some new dealer shapes, we're making your prices lower, but then they're actually really high, like a thousand dollars lower price and that's not even a low price, so like probably like sixty dollars for a car. Oh, Isabel, you've just given me a whole lesson in economics. What about the people? What kind of people do you see in the city? Hmm. All kinds, right? Yeah, there's a lot of kinds. Like, all different kinds of people. Yeah, but we all come from the same place, so I don't see why people just keep judging other people even though they're the same. Everybody's equal. You just hit the nail on the head. That's what I was going to say. What makes San Francisco so great is that there's no judgment here. There's very little judgment. You can be anything, anybody here. And that diversity is what makes it great. Do you know what diversity means? Mm -mm. Okay. Diversity is exactly what we're talking about. It means all kinds of different people. Now, the same thing that makes San Francisco great, I think, makes America great. Right? Yeah, I it does, doesn't it? Ooh, crunchy. You pro those teeth probably haven't been in there for very long. <laughs> They're still working good.